A seven-year-old boy from Syria has a chance at life thanks to an incredible and complex skin transplant. Doctors use groundbreaking techniques to create the skin. Now, as you're going to see, it's a pretty graphic situation, but it's potentially life-saving, as I say, and potentially paving the way for new treatments that could help countless others. Vicodopia has the details today. Asa was born with epidermolysis bullosa. They're sometimes called butterfly children, skin so fragile it blisters, deteriorates, and peels off. Conventional skin grafts don't always work for people with EB, epidermolysis bullosa. In its most severe form, the genetic disorder ultimately leads to skin cancer. This boy from Syria had pain so severe he was in a medically induced coma. At seven, Hassan was 17 kilograms, just 38 pounds. Doctors told his parents to make palliative arrangements. And uh, Hände und die Füße. Sonst nicht. Ganzen uh, Körper hat keine Haut. Hassan's only hope was an experimental new surgery. Doctors used a sample of his skin to grow more of it in a cell culture, as they would for a burn victim, except that they introduced a special virus to kill the defective gene and replace it with a re-engineered one. The skin was then grafted on in multiple operations. It took two years to fully reconstruct 80% of Hassan's skin. We are quite confident that uh, this uh, new epidemic will stay for a long time, if not forever. And up to now, this skin is normal, normally functioning in terms of not, it's not blistering. He's recovered in school and playing his favorite game. Das war wie ein Traum. Und das ist schwierig für mich äh, zu äh, beschreiben. One in 17,000 children in Canada is born with some form of EB. Encouraged by Hassan's results, researchers are now working on a clinical trial to determine if the procedure can save more lives. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.